Hi everyone! So, I'm going to open up this Goddess Provisions uh, subscription box for the month of January. Um, first box of the year and probably the last box because I was supposed to cancel it. And I did, but I only canceled it for a few months, so now I finally cancel it. So this is the very last box. Anyways, I uh, wanted to do a live, even if people won't see it because I just really don't want to edit the video. So, yeah. Anyways, it's like a crystal, like, witchy subscription box. You can get, um, altar bells, incense, like, essential oils, crystals. I got this crystal ring last time. You can get tons of stuff. So, let's see what we got in this month. I don't remember what the theme was, so it'll be a surprise. And I'll use my lighter holder thing right here to open the tape. If I can't rip it off, but I think I can. These are like my favorite subscription boxes ever. Okay, come on. The tape is annoying. Okay, okay. I'm going somewhere. Oh. A stray crystal on the ground. I'm gonna open this box with it. So, for whoever just joined, um, I'm doing a live on this goddess provisions crystal subscription box because I don't want to edit it so and that person left it be like that I guess I'm tearing it apart so I just got back from my college class like 30 minutes ago and last night I went to Disneyland. That was really cool. Okay, I got it open. Let's see what it is. Oh, I didn't get it open. <laughs> there we go. Here it is. So, uh, I believe it's the moon box or something. A moon wisdom, possibly, because it says your cycles are sacred, and it's like a moon. Okay, yeah, that's what it is. It's called Sacred Cycles this month. I'm not going to look at that because it will spoil what is in the bag, the box. So here it is. Alright. First thing we have... Dragon's Blood Incense Cones. I love Dragon's Blood and Incense. And I'm in need of Dragon, um, not Dragon, Incense Cones. So I just got a new Incense Cone burner, so. Oh, these are heavenly, and they even have the little airflow hole, which is really good. The quality of these is amazing. So... It's called Reverse Karma is the brand. Next we have this New Moon Soothing Massage Balm, apparently. Um, let's take the sticker off and open it. It smells really good. So it has Roman chamomile and sage in it. And it's a massage balm, so I don't know what you use that for guess massages but it's amazing it smells really good might re-gift it to my sister because I don't really need it um, and then we have some crystals in a crystal bag let's see what we got this month I love little crystal bags I always need them okay so it's called the sacred crystals um, sit Wait, Sacred Cycles Crystal Set. So let's see what we got. Okay. Looks like Rose Quartz. Clear Quartz. Let's see what it says. Okay, so it's a whole thing apparently. Okay, so we got, we get Obsidian for the North, it says. And then for the east, we get clear quartz. And for, let's see, I'll show you. And for the south, we get red carnelian. 
And for the west, we get rose quartz. So they symbolize right here, the moon stuff. I'll show you guys later. Um, so obsidian is great for um, menstruation, apparently. Um, the This one, clear quartz, is great for f f follicular. <laughs> And this one is for winter and a new moon. This one is for spring, a waxy moon. This one's good for ovulation, apparently, summer and full moon. And this one's good for lut lutel, whatever that means, fall and waning moon. So they all just represent different things. I like the little info, info book lit. That's really cool. I'm going to take a break right now and eat some whipped yogurt. <laughs> really good. I love this stuff. My cat loves it too. Next thing we got, oh, it's all over me. Next thing we got was a sacred cycle spell candles. Oh my gosh, I love candles. It says it comes with four of them and a holder, so I am so excited oh gosh I don't want to rip the box come oh on okay so the candles um, represent um, red is menstruation rose gold is ovulation white is fo follicle and mint is luteal so it just symbolizes what the crystals did here is the pretty little candle holder. I am so excited. Well, a spell candle holder specifically, which I do not have one. So that is really cool. And let's see what candles we got. I'm pretty sure I probably have these candles, but I always need some. So here are the spell candles. Actually, I don't have these ones. These are really shiny and beautiful mine are just dull colors but the white one the white one again is a full follicle i have no idea how to say that the pink is luteal the rose gold is ovulation and the red is menstruation why they have to do that um but okay it says to light the candle that matches the phase of a cycle you're celebrating. Interesting. That's really cool though. It's starting to become one of my favorite boxes. Next we got some loose leaf tea. I love tea, especially loose leaf because I can put it in a jar and use it like with spell bottles and such. So this is new moon tea root support. So it helps your root chakra, I'm assuming. Um, there's nettle, tulsi, rosemary, dandelion leaf, lemon peel, and lemon grass in here. So that would be yummy. And I did just get a steeper teapot for loose leaf tea for Christmas. So I am very excited to use this. I will try it probably tonight. And... The last thing is another tarot card deck. Um, you guys, I probably have like seven, maybe now eight of these. This one's really cool. Sacred Cycles Oracle. So these are like moon cycles and it's like menstruation and stuff. Again, I don't know. I get that the moon represents that, but I really don't <laughs> want to celebrate it. I don't know why they tell you to. Let me get it open real quick so you guys can see the cards. I want to end this video as soon as possible. Just because I don't want it to be super long. So here it is. Very pretty. It smells good. As above, so below. It really smells good. I don't know why. Okay. And it says, as below, so above. That's really cool. And so it comes with a little tiny guidebook. You know, just telling you what everything represents and everything. And then here's the cards. Oh, gosh. Um, 
Opening a new tarot card deck is like one of the best experiences. And before you use it, you have to set it out um, like under the moon or sun or etc. etc. before you use them. Just soak up that energy. But look at all of them. They're so beautiful. Wow, you guys. That one is gorgeous. This one is probably my favorite tarot card deck I have, actually, because it's literally all about, like, femininity and, like, everything, even though it's sacred cycles. So, I'm assuming sacred cycles is about women's menstrual cycle and also the moon cycle, which go hand in hand. So, that's, like, all the stuff, you know what I mean? I'm going to show you guys real quick everything that I got now, because, okay, well, first of all, here's a little set that you put it in a little box i should say and i dropped the booklet okay so we have this <clears throat> hold on real quick while i uh like organize this stuff and then we have the sacred cycles crystal set as well the rose quartz i don't know where it went here it is I have all of those. We get carnelian, rose quartz, obsidian, and clear quartz in this set. And then this new moon soothing balm. We got the candles, the spell candles that represent the different cycles with the spell candle holder specifically for these candles. And this is what they represent. And we also got the root chakra tea and the uh, loose leaf tea, by the way, and the dragon's blood incense cones. And I will show you guys up close. <laughs> so here is the tea and everything that is inside. Sativa, excuse me, what is that? <laughs> um, and then the incense cones. And these are really nice quality. And they have the hole at the bottom for airflow. If you have one of the incense burners that the smoke goes down, these are perfect. And it's like a really good quality and it smells amazing. Um, and it was hand dipped, which is cool. And then here's again the candles. This is what they represent. And then here they are. So red is menstruation, which I think is funny. Um, white is fo f fo whatever, follicular. Um, pink is luteal, luto, whatever that symbolizes. And the rose gold is um, for ovulation. So this is, um, you light the candle that matches the phase of the cycle you're celebrating. Which is interesting. So that's that. And these are the phases of the moon right here. You can see. Um, and then again, here's the oracle cards, which you guys saw up close. You can just go back once this video ends. It will be a video you guys can watch later, but here's the balm, which is really nice. If I can get it open, a stupid sticker. Okay, so it's like a condensed balm. It smells really good. It has chamomile and sage. Um... It's a massage balm. I don't know what that is used for, but it sounds amazing. And then the crystals, of course, in the little bag. I love when they give you crystal bags, so they always use crystal bags. I love them so much. Um, again, we get red carnelian, clear quartz, rose quartz, and obsidian, which are very common crystals. Um, and then we also get the booklet rep showing, like, what they represent and everything. As you can see right here. Um, and then it talks about it, and it tells you what to do with your crystals. And here it fits on the moon cycle chart, etc. With the four directions, you know. Yeah. 
etc etc tons of information on everything but yeah so that's what i got in january's goddess provisions crystal box i i just called that because like i don't know it's like a witchy box but it does have like crystals and stuff in it so you always get a crystal at least every um month like last month i got this crystal clear quartz ring right here which is really pretty sadly i didn't get another ring this month but i wish i did this is the rock i used to open it with so i didn't get it this month um sorry guys probably gave you whiplash moving my camera like that but here are all the values of everything you can see um and you can read more about it and like where they're from like because the um some are like goddess provisions like made products and some are from other people as you can see so you guys can get them at separate places if you like any of the things in here and yeah so that's about it here's all the stuff i love these um they always give you like pretty artwork on these so i always kind of put them on my wall in a collage like i will definitely put this one up but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed um again i did a live because i didn't want to okay i didn't i did a live because i didn't want to edit this video because i would have to film it and then edit it and then upload and it takes so much time energy and everything and i have other things um to edit but um i hope you guys enjoyed and once this video live ends you can just go back and watch it as a regular video um someone said hi hello i'm ending it right now but you can go back and watch the thing <laughs> the video um anyways i love you guys so much um Stay tuned because I'm going to upload a Disneyland vlog, which because I went yesterday. That was really cool. I don't know how long it will take me to get all the footage together and, and stuff, but um, it's really cool. So I would say definitely subscribe because it will be a cool video. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. I said that already. Yes, I did notice you, Toe Pickles. <laughs> Beautiful name, if I might say so myself. Um, anyways, don't forget to sub and comment and like, and don't talk about my appearance today because I look ratchet <laughs> from ratchet, not like the, yeah, anyways, because Disneyland really took a lot out of me, you guys. Um, anyways, bye. This video went on for way too long, so bye.